During the COVID-19 pandemic, government closed schools in a bid to avoid the spread of the deadly virus that has killed over 280,000 people worldwide. This means that many of the students are likely to fall behind with their schoolwork. Government has been emphasizing the teaching of science subjects, but these are also the subjects that need more practice and experimentation. Many schools teach sciences without laboratories, and those that exist are usually not well equipped. These practicals are also some of the most difficult to simulate for self-study purposes. In order to solve the problem of limited access to practical materials, Cyber School Technology Solutions developed a software through which learners can access materials and tools for all level science subjects, such as maths, physics, biology, and chemistry. There have been challenges in the educational sector. You find that connectivity in rural schools is close to none, and yet they come to need exactly the same uh, services as any school that you will find in Kampala. So one of the solutions that we came, which came as an intervention, was being able to install this software which does not require the use of the internet into all these different schools so that they're able to receive uh, education at the same level as you would find a school that is found within Kampala. This is a practical on Ohm's law which shows the variation of voltage and current. It is a physics practical for senior four students. There is a catalogue of tools needed for the practical, as Charles Yakani explains. So the real start is used to vary the voltage. So from the voltage, uh, the learner clicks on one end of the real start and takes it all the way to a resistance box, which is, which is the load actually um, in this particular experiment. From the resistance box, um, the connecting wire runs to a millimeter or an ammeter. Uh, which is the instrument used to measure the current. From the ammeter, the connecting wire is brought to the switch. And then from the switch, back to the source of EMF, which is the battery. The connections are done using a cursor, but this must be done according to the circuit drawn in instructions. The moment there is a misconnection, the circuit won't be complete. The student develops expertise in handling equipment. Two, the student also develops mastery of connections. And three, the speed of carrying out the experiment. Because with repetition, they will be able to do the experiment faster. When the practical is completed, the results are displayed demonstrating how when voltage increases, the current also increases. We found Nicholas Masajage, a teacher at Green Hill Academy. He teaches maths from senior one to four. We use the software to teach uh, sciences in a much easier way. If I'm going to teach, say, physics, then I'm going to use digital science or virtual lab. If I'm using digital, digital science, then I'm going to open uh, the animations which show how, the, how, the actual, how actually the machines run, how electricity flows. It also has illustrations which learners appreciate better than drawings the teachers have to come up with on the blackboards. These children of nowadays are more interested in seeing, in visual, visual things. So when they see the animations, they, are, they get excited, they get really interested in the physics or in the mathematics. Even mathematics can be animated. Mathematics has always been a boring subject, but surprisingly now it can be animated. With this software, you can find animations which, which make the children wonder, or oh, the numbers which you, which you think are very trivial become actually very easy if you're using this software. In this software, the student is able to do a quiz where they test their knowledge, especially about a certain topic and subject, and then they will get the answers later on after finishing it, then they can gauge and know whether they are ready for an exam. Even a parent could also as well test the students or their children to know how much they have understood or learned about a subject. Most of the times, not many people, not enough people know enough about our software. So by being able to encourage parents to use the software, they will then be able to get their children to be remarkable contributors in our real world. According to Cyber School, they have so far installed this software in over 1,000 schools across the country. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.